always start with uh, sketching the drawing with pencil and if you are not comfortable with freehand drawing you can take a picture and trace it today we are working with gouache and gouache is often referred to as a opaque watercolor unlike traditional watercolors gouache allows you to work with both transparency and opacity the magic lies in the ability to control the paint's consistency using water when you are working with gouache start by thinning down the paint with water this enables you to create thin and transparent layer to achieve the range of effects based on amount of water added Typically gouache artists work from thin to thick begin with diluted wash of paint gradually build up opacity by reducing the amount of water in subsequent layers this gives you more control over painting intensity and richness thanks to gouache opacity you have freedom to work from light to dark or vice versa unlike watercolors you don't need to preserve the light area as you can easily paint over them with opaque layers I will start with grey color and dilute it and give a very thin layer of this color and gradually increase the intensity of the color by adding more color. By doing this, the color in consistency of the image will be enhanced. For giving the fried effect to the egg, I am using bone sina and adding some flesh tint. If you want, you can add white color to get desired effect. I am using Brusto fine brush because I want to do detail and intricate work here. I always prefer to blend the paint to smooth out the edges to get velvety effect for my painting. I am going to define the egg white by giving some transparent fine brush strokes around the yellow yolk. For that purpose, I am using whatever grey color remaining on my palette and adding some dark color to increase the intensity. This also I am blending properly to get smooth and velvety effect. As I mentioned earlier, you can gradually add more color to palette to make it dark and thick to get desired effect. Same thing I am doing here. So moving to the next part, here I started painting yellow yolk. For that, I am using golden yellow color. Here I will go by giving dark shade first and then I will use yellow ochre which is comparatively lighter shade. This will give the a glossy effect. Let's shift our focus to sunny side up. Golden yellow is perfect for the yolk. By the way, have you ever tried painting food before? It's so much fun, isn't it? I am trying my best to make it look realistic. After that, I am going to paint tomatoes in the plate. For that, I am using red color. At this stage, I will suggest you to use lighter shade of the red color, whichever you have in your palette. Because we have to increase the intensity of color later on. Blending is the key of every painting. Blend the paint smoothly. To create depth and realism, let introduce some shadows. Mix a darker shade of red and carefully outline the bottom part of each tomato. Using a fine brush and slightly darker shade, outline the areas of the tomato. Tomatoes often catch the light at the top. With touch of lighter red and even hint of orange, add highlights to upper part of each tomato. This will create a subtle shine making them look fresh and appealing. Take a step back and assess your work. If needed, make any additional adjustment. Maybe intensifying the reds a bit more or refine the shadows. Remember, it's your interpretation of these tomatoes that makes the painting unique. As we continue with our painting, let's savor the beauty of breakfast together. I am curious, what's your go-to breakfast? Do you prefer something sweet or savory? Let me know in comment below. Maybe it's classic like this or perhaps you have a unique twist to share. 
Next time color in chicken ham or salami whatever you call it. For that I am using crimson red color and I have diluted it with water. Begin by applying a thin layer of diluted crimson red to represent the overall color of the ham or salami. This diluted mixture will allow us to build up a layers gradually achieving a realistic texture. After finishing the outline of the tomato, I started filling it with lighter red. For peas, I am using sap green color, then also use parrot green in it. Time to add some greenery with peas. Sap green and parrot green are my go-to colors. Adding touch of yellow for definition. Isn't it amazing how this simple stroke can bring a painting to life? I started outlining the piece with sap green color. For broccoli, I am using green color to define the object and parrot green color as well. For giving more definition to my piece by adding yellow color. Also giving more definition to broccoli by giving some nice brush strokes around it. As you can see, I have already drawn the sausages and leaves off screen. For sausages, you can use bonsina, yellow ochre and start with lighter shade to darker or vice versa as you like. As you can see, I am always going back and giving retouching to my art. Feel free to experiment with your artwork. You can gradually increase the consistency of color and intensity of object. I always prefer to have one or more reference pictures or photos which I have already captured from my camera. That will give you an idea of what exactly you want to create on your paper or canvas. You will also get the idea of light and shadows by looking at your own capture image. You can also take pictures from Pinterest and recreate the same. Just look at this plate. The sizzle of fried eggs, the savory aroma of sausages, the juicy grilled tomatoes, the tender chicken ham, vibrant peas and fresh burst of green from the broccoli. It's a symphony of flavors and colors. Isn't it fascinating how a simple illustration can make you crave the real thing? About you, but I absolutely love having this hearty breakfast. The thought of indulging in these tempting dishes every morning is enough to make my day. I am sure many of you have your favorite breakfast place too. I hope this tutorial is helpful to you. If you have any question, feel free to ask me. I will try to answer your questions. If you create this painting, don't forget to share with me and tag me on my Instagram page. Keep creating and experimenting with different types of arts and colors. Bye, take care, see you soon.